right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 28. All right. So currently when someone submits the form, they can submit it without checking the radio inputs. Although we had used required attribute, the required attribute to indicate the input is required previously, uh, this can't work in this case because adding required to both inputs will convey the wrong information to the form users. All right. Uh, to solve this, we can provide context of what is needed by adding legend element, by adding the legend element below the second field set and with text, with the text account type required, right? Then we're gonna add checked, pardon me, add the checked, somebody is not using their articles in this, I swear. Then we're gonna add the checked attribute to the personal input to make sure that the form is submitted with the right, pardon me, with the required data in it, all right. So let's go check out what checked looks like before we get into this. Let's say checked, I'm sure it's gonna be the exact same as it says, but let's look at this, all right? So as for the definition, the checked attribute is a Boolean attribute, all right? So when present, it uh, specifies that an input element should be pre-selected or checked when the page loads. The checked attribute can be used with input type equals checkbox and type equals radio, all right? Uh, the checked attribute can also be set after the page loads with a JavaScript, with some JavaScript, all right? And then for the syntax, we just put it inside the input and checked somewhere, right? So, oh, 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 we're gonna put checked on the personal and a legend also. So let's look up legend while we're at it. Uh, legend element HTML. And we got that right here. And for the definition and usage, the legend tag uh, defines a caption for the field set element, right? So the legend tag also, blah, 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 blah. Where's some examples? Legend, legend, where you got it? So legend right here. So we're gonna have an opening and closing legend tag and that stuff we don't need. All right, so what are we doing? So it says the legend element below the second field set, but trust me, this, it ain't gonna work if you put it below here. They're talking about right here. This Whoever wrote this is uh, much more of a programmer than a, <laughs> Anyway, whatever, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. So let's put it right here. We'll say legend, legend like this, and then we'll close it off. Is that what I get for talking smack? Then we'll close it off for legend with legend like this. That is what I get for talking smack. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna put checked in the personal, in this one right here. So we'll just say type checked right here. Checked like that. And you see it showed up right there and now it's like that. And for the legend, we got to type something in there. No, we don't. All right, so let's check the code. No, account type required. So yeah, we got to tag account type required in there. Should I re, I'm not gonna re-record this. Uh, account type, and then we're gonna have inside these parentheses a required like that. Cause it's a lot of reading for real. Uh, so now it looks like this account type required, even though it says to put it right here. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 29 and we'll see you next time.